Let's have some beer! What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog! My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we've got a bottle of... I don't know how to pronounce it. Ephemere? Ephemeri? I don't know. Some kind of stuff in French. The apple slash palm version by Unibrew out of some place in Quebec. Chambly in Quebec. Coming in at 5.5% ABV. Yeah. Didn't realize there's still two of these freaking Unibrew beers. Unibrew beers in my fridge that need to be drank. And I kind of completely forgot they were in there. Hiding behind a juice container. So, let's get into this. Um, it's... I'm not going to say old, but a little less fresh than I want it to be. I don't know what the date on this is. B2117. I don't know. That makes me think like last year, February or something. But this was in their most recent mix pack that was purchased at the most two months ago. So it shouldn't be that old. I don't know. Let's crack it open. Get through the foily weirdness that Unibrew uses. And let's see. It had to happen eventually. Jesus Christ, it's been a long time. Yay me! Let's see what we got. It smells really good, just even off the open there. It smells like somebody bit into an apple. Or apple juice. I like the aroma. Let's get a picture. That's pretty clear. A little bit of chill haze going on. A lot of lively carbonation coming up out of the bottom. And definitely a few little chunks, floaties, occurring in the beer. I'm not sure if that's a thing that should be happening or if that's due to its age, but uh... It has like a... Almost like a, a champagne slash apple aroma. There's like no kind of beer qualities coming through in the smell. It smells, I don't know, not to be a blah blah blah. It's, it smells kind of like a girly drink. Not trying to say knock a girly drink. I like me a girly drink now and then. Let's give us a shot. There's a definite, like, there's like a ghost of a flavor of, it's as if I was chewing on an apple peel. Like, I don't know if you ever like peeled an apple to eat it or for whatever cooking and then just ate the peel itself. That kind of, But it's not really the flavor, it's just kind of an echo of a flavor, if that makes any sense. It's really different, but it, it's it's pretty good. I can say I'm not sure if this is what it should be like. The head is kind of, I don't know if it's going to come through. How far I can tip it, if that's how it's going to work. But yeah, there's like a real kind of... almost. It almost seems like the head has like a solidness to it. If I was to tap it, it my finger wouldn't go through weird let's do this cheers everybody i don't know if the flakes yeah you can kind of see a couple of the little chunkies in there mm. like it's one of those beers where that apple flavor raspberry flavor cranberry flavor blood orange flavor is there but just not ow really i smacked my elbow off the back of my chair it's not as upfront in your face as i would like it to be like if you're calling a beer you know an apple beer or a blood orange beer or a raspberry beer or whatever fruit kind of beer that fruit should be 
it should have a real presence in that beer, not just be kind of like a a little hint that you added, but then you're going to name the beer after. That's just my personal opinion on the whole thing. But I think that like this, I don't know. I almost want it. If I had apple juice on hand, I would add like maybe that much apple juice to it just to kick up that apple flavor. And I bet then it would taste more like I expect slash would like it to taste. It's not bad, but I don't know if, like, again, the age, if it is old, is apple something that will fade over time? I do not know. I know hop presents can fade over time. Uh, coffee can flade, can flade, can flade over time, can fade over time. I'm sure other adjuncts can. I don't know if apple's one of them. Sorry. Ooh. There's my, my sock has gone weird on my foot and I'm trying to adjust it without making it noticeable. And we're good. The more I get into it, the, ap the apple is kind of like bumping up maybe like a quarter notch with each drink. So by the bottom, maybe it'll be a little closer to what I want it to be. It is there. I can't deny that, like, if somebody had given me this beer without telling me what it was, I'm pretty confident that I would say there's some kind of apple presence in there. But not enough to call it an apple beer. I don't know what ephemer means. Let's see if we can find that out right now. We'll learn together. Ephemer definition. How about in English? Translate, thank you. Translate to English, do it now. Open the... It gives me the option to translate to English, but then does not translate to English. Let's go ephemer, meaning English, better. Screw you. Lasting for only a short time, transitory, ephem... Ephemeral. Ephemeral means ephemeral. Um, existing for only one day. Like lasting for a very short... So, I guess in that... I don't know if that's supposed to mean the beer is very limited in its quantity. Or if they're referring to the fact that... The apple... Doesn't last in your mouth kind of thing. Or maybe when they brew it you have to drink it within that first day or the apple's gone. I don't know. The apple flavor did not tick upward at that time. It's for exactly where it was with the last drink. There's anything really to be said on here. 10 IBUs. Belgian style fruit flavored wheat ale. Don't know what the ingredients are because Unibrew uh, doesn't give you those. Kind of a weird label to it. An apple fairy or something? I don't know. Unusual. I see overall. Personally, like I know a lot of people love, like Marcel, loves Unibrew. A few people that comment on my videos. One of you might comment on this video. A big fan to this brewery. Myself, more miss than hit for me overall. Like for sure. I'm not sure quite how many I've had at this point. I shouldn't be doing this right now because I'm now hitting the 10 minute mark, 10 and a half minute mark. It's okay. Now and then a vlog can be a little bit long. It's no big deal. Unibrew. Unibrew. How many vidges are the Unibrew? We got one, two, three, four. I only have Madit. Atulamon. Uh, blonde 
Blonde de Chamblay saison, uh, une don de Dieu, and uh, le fin de mon. Hmm. I thought I had more than that. From this particular six pack, I have uh, the Raftman ale because I had already had le fin de mon, and I had already had the Blonde de Chamblay. So we got the Megadeth, the Modit. This one and that one plus those two equals six. And that's all the beer by them I can have at this point. I'm pretty sure Marcel just showed up. He's possibly coming by. Or Oreo's giving me a little bit of a heads up. So let's get this done. All I got left here is uh, unibrew.com. Check them out. And I guess. Screw you, mouse. Canada English. That's how I roll. Untapped. 36,269 ratings. That's a lot. 3.54 out of 5 overall. Beer Advocate has a 3.6 out of 5. 2,098 ratings. And Rate Beer says 3.34 out of 5 with 1,525 ratings. And Oreo was right. Look at that. Look who's popping into the frame. Hey, hey. It's going down, world. Yeah. So, yeah, like, chunkiness has kind of settled to the bottom. I don't know. What, what is... that? That's pretty funny right there. I just, I just talked about Marcel's love for Unibrew beers. That's, that's actually really, really funny. Not scripted at all. I got, like, two drinks left in here. It's... That one... Again, the apple did bump up a little bit. Again. Still, not where I'd like it to be, but it's it's there. Drink number the last. Marcel, how do you pronounce that beer? There's no L. Ephemier? Ephemier. Ephemier. It's okay. Sorry, I thought there was an L apostrophe, but there isn't. I think that a few of their beers have the L apostrophe, but regardless. Now, I think I was close with my initial pronunciation. Anyway, Unibrew, your ephemer palm. Palm. Is it palm or palm? It's palm, right? Palm. 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 <laughs> yeah. Look at that. I got a French teacher over here. Reading. Like I said, I don't know if that's... The, the date seems like it's maybe kind of old but regardless it's still pretty good like it's very drinkable it's not bad i'm going to give that a very solid like 7.5 it's pretty good it's one uh, I, i'm again let me go back to this thing here my reference it's probably i can't think of i think it's probably one of if not my favorite unibrew beer just because it's the least kind of marcellish of them you could say I don't know. He likes that style. I'm not a big fan. I'm trying. I'm trying. Someday, hopefully, the palette will shift. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, little smack to the face of the like button. Always appreciate it. you want to see more, subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you know when new videos go live. And if you got something to me, comment in the box down below. What do you think of Unibrew? What's your favorite Unibrew beer? Are you in the Marcel camp? Where you like, like, love the stuff? Or are you in my camp where... It's a brewery you kind of avoid, like, the play. Well, I, I bought six of these, so... So there you go. We, we, which can't be in. So the conversation down below, like I said. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Delling Vlog tomorrow. Uh, peace out! That was awesome. That should have been, like, on camera. That was a cork popping. It was fantastic. And I'm going to splice that in so that's the end of it or something. I don't even know how it's going to be. It was like the timing was like too good. I don't know what to do now. Whatever. I'll figure it out.